Hey there, this is Dr. Mort Orman, and I'm here again from sunny Arizona. It's uh, supposed to be 111 degrees today and 117 degrees tomorrow. And uh, we've been talking this week about this book, uh, Virus of the Mind by Richard Brody. And um, I wanted to, yesterday we talked about um, how the book is pretty good if you want to understand how people get infected with mind viruses or if you want to know how to infect other people with mind viruses. So it goes into great detail about how mind viruses spread and how you can infect other people and how you end up getting infected. But then when it comes to our own personal lives, what do we do with the fact that we all have been infected with various mind viruses? And I started talking about from a personal level, uh, the two most important things that we have to do is to number one, recognize the viruses and the, the faulty ideas that we've been uh, infected with. And then the part I want to talk about today is how do you, what he calls disinfect yourself. How do you get a, around or, beh uh, or um, uh, get above those mind viruses or program yourself with new vi mind viruses. And as I said yesterday, uh, it's a difficult task to figure out what thoughts and ideas you have that aren't really true, that may have been given to you by other people and, and implanted in you. Uh, and it's very hard to do without the help of other people. Well, it's equally hard to know what new ideas to replace the old ideas with once you discover them. Uh, and that's another part of the book, but it, the book's really not strong in either of those two areas. It doesn't give you a lot of advice, and I'm not sure it could, because it's a difficult thing to do. And usually, again, once again, you need the help of other people. It's one thing to know that certain ideas you have may be false. It's quite another thing to know, well, what ideas do I want to replace them with? What are better, more, quote, truthful ideas that I could adopt? And here again, most of the time we don't know that. We, we don't have any basis for really understanding what would be an even better idea than the one we have. So uh, it gets down again to the fact that you, you pretty much have to associate with other people who figured some of this stuff out who have had life experiences and have wisdom that you may not have and can share with you some of the breakthroughs they've had, some of the ideas that they've had. And, and that's a problem because we all like to do things on our own and this is why we can't get very far in either of these areas of either discovering our own false ideas or replacing them with better ones. So I would just ask you to think about that. It, I think it really takes uh, having a relationship with somebody that can help you do that or multiple people that can help you to do that. So this week we've been talking about this particular book and uh, there's another book that I just came across that, that essentially talks about the same thing but gives a little bit more um, specific advice about what you can do about the ideas that have become you know conditioned within you and I'm gonna spend next week talking about that book in, the, in my videos for next week. So see you then. Bye-bye.